Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly's. I thought I would get on this missing persons case that just came into the media. Her name is Heidi Plank. I think that's how you say it. It's P-L-A-N-C-K. Uh, she went. She was last seen October 17th on uh, 21 uh, in Downey, California, Downey, California, L.A., uh, she left with her dog. She went to her son's game uh, on the field. And during the game, apparently she said she was antsy. She got fidgety. Her ex-husband was there. She left and was never seen again. Her dog was found in a high rise in L.A. And they, they cannot, they cannot um, search it because the owners of the high rise won't let them. So that's kind of suspicious. Uh, she worked for very powerful people as an accountant, basically. Uh, she was a financial controller, uh, but there's some a lot of white collar c crime surrounding some of the employers here. Um, one of them is actually in prison uh, for stealing 60 million from from Native Americans and using it. Uh, another one uh, did some porno. There's just quite a few bit criminal minds around this case, so that's what's really bad. Um, what else? Jason Sugarman, her boss, was charged with 43 million fraud scheme. Um, and so very concerning. Um, he is the son-in-law of LA football club. He, he was part of an LA football club, a, a minority owner apparently. So he was pretty loaded and he is the son-in-law of Peter Goober, who is the owner of the Golden State Warriors NBA team, so an NBA owner. So this is getting kind of dark and devious. Ex-husband said she failed to pick up the son from school, not something she would ever do. Um, so anyways, there's a lot of white collar crime surrounding her and the family thinks it has everything to do with her job. So I want to get into it. First, I'm going to ask the pendulum about each and every one of these men. There are three men here. First, I'm going to do that, and this is all allegedly, entertainment purposes may not be true. Please do your own research. This is allegedly, do not want to be sued. Here we go. First, I'm going to ask, was her husband involved? Her, his name is Jim Wayne. Was Jim Wayne involved in his ex-wife's disappearance? Was Jim Wayne involved in his ex-wife's disappearance? Was he involved in her disappearance? And I get a no. He was not involved. So that's a no. Now it's the second time I've gotten a no because I asked it before. Then I'm going to ask about this Jason Sugarman. Jason Sugarman is her boss and he is being charged with a 43 million fraud scheme. Did Jason Sugarman have anything to do with Heidi? What's her name again? Here we go. Heidi Plank. Heidi Plank. Was Jason at all involved with Heidi Plank's disappearance? Is Jason Silverman, Sugarman, excuse me, involved in Heidi's disappearance in any way, shape, or form? Yes. Yes, he was. Now I'm going to go to Peter Goober, who is the father-in-law who owns the NBA team called the Golden State Warriors. Okay, here we go. Was Peter Goober in any way involved in Heidi, Heidi's disappearance, in her disappearance. Was he any way, shape, or form involved in her disappearance? No. I'm gonna try that one more time using her name, but I did get a no earlier, so it would be the second time, Heidi Plank. So was Peter Goober in any way, shape, or form involved in Heidi Plank's disappearance? Was he in any way, shape, or form is Peter Goober involved? No. I'm going to re-ask again. Was Jason Sugarman involved? Was Jason Sugarman involved in any way, shape, or form in her disappearance? Jason Sugarman involved? Yes. Second time. So this will make my third time getting a yes. Twice on camera, once off camera. So it's, it is her boss. He's the one behind it. Now, this is for allegedly's, allegedly's, allegedly's. <laughs> Don't come after me. 
So here we go. He's in deep doo-doo. He is a he's a white collar criminal. That's a lot of money. Here we go. So let's get some energy surrounding her situation. Heidi Plank. Heidi Plank. Heidi Plank was a financial controller. She was an, she was um, doing a lot of the books apparently. And that's probably why. Maybe she discovered some stuff that uh, he had to take her out because he couldn't leave her as a witness. So let's find out. Heidi Plank. Give me energy on Heidi Plank. Heidi Plank. Please be clear. Heidi Plank. Heidi Plank. Heidi Plank. Heidi Plank. Please be clear. Heidi Plank. Give me some energy on Heidi Plank. Heidi Plank, spirit guides and angels. Heidi Plank. Heidi Plank. Where is she? Where is she? Boom. What we have here is the Ten of Wands upright, for starters. So the Ten of Wands upright is saying no and taking a break. So there's a burden. there was a burden in the last stand, desperate move made against her. Probably a last stand was made. She probably made a last stand. Uh, too many responsibilities in this position. And this is someone saying no. So she basically told them no. She wasn't going to probably do what they wanted. That's basically, she said no. I'm not going to do this burden and oppression of whatever it is you want me to do. She had a last stand with them. She said, I'm not doing that. I'm just not going to do that. So that is why she's missing. So it's in, the, it's in a very dark position here. Let's get some more cards on Heidi Plank, Heidi Plank, Heidi Plank. Heidi Plank, so what happened with this last stand, burden and oppression? What happened with this last stand and burden and oppression? What became of it? What became of it? What became of this last stand and burden and oppression? What became of it? There it is. We've got here temperance in reverse with the victory card. So it's devil energy when the temperance is in reverse. Uh, as you can see there, she is not too happy. She's, um, her wings are kind of uh, falling down. So this is in the reverse position and this is the victory card. So there was exploring dark thoughts there. I would say it doesn't necessarily have to be hers. It could be somebody else's. So there were some dark thoughts in order to win was ha what happened here. So I'm gonna ask, was this, was this her boss? Was this Jason Sugarman? Was this Jason Sugarman with the devil energy, temperance in reverse, in order to be victorious and win? Yes. So he exercised, he had no patience and tolerance for her at that point in time when she took this last stand and said no. He got devil energy. Temperance in reverse is devil energy. When I see the victory card here, a lot of times, it is not people are, the person is not what they appear to be is what many readers will say and we do have that here it's also a narcissist card because they're they're consumed with winning must win it doesn't matter they will do anything to win if you put make a last stand against them guess what you're going to lose uh, that's why we have the devil energy so yes it's looking like he did something to her in order to win and continue to win because he's got a legal problem on his hands here I'm going to clarify this victory card and find out what did he do to win? What did he do to win? What did he do to be victorious? What did he do to be victorious? What did he do to be victorious? He did the six of swords upright. So with the six of swords upright, he took a, he took a selfish act. He took a risk. It is also what I consider my Incubus Succubus card. Uh, that is a parasitic card. Um, basically, he wanted to put the worst behind him, also card. Putting the worst behind him, putting the difficulties behind him, uh, because he wanted the best to yet to come for him. Uh, it's also having travel difficulties. Uh, this person needs to leave, uh, needs to get out of the stormy waters sort of card, uh, and is being very selfish. and taking a risk, taking a huge risk. So he took a huge risk. He took a huge risk so, he, so that he couldn't be defeated in essence, and it's the incubus succubus. So it's a very parasitic, a person who works against you uh, kind of card. So now let's find out some more. Let's dig into it some more. 
with this Six of Swords, Six of Swords, Six of Swords, clarify the Six of Swords, clarify the Six of Swords. Well, we got two of them here. What I have here is the Knight of Cups in reverse. So that is total emotional manipulation, very toxic. Um, this is total, you know, very toxic position with the knight. Any knight in reverse is going to get nasty on us. Uh, it is a cups card. So with it being a cups, we're looking at someone who's going to be very passive aggressive and there's going to be a lot of conflict. He had a lot of conflict between his head and his heart what to do. Um, he did have conflicts because he probably did like her as a person, but this is someone who has became very moody. He became very aggressive towards her and, and he, he became very aggressive towards her um, because he, did, he had this la da desperate last stand. He knew he would have issues moving on, uh, that there would be a problem. So he had to solve it by becoming aggressive with her. And then we have here, he was afraid of the Three of Pentacles, which was all his collaboration and expansion and creation would go into reverse. He wouldn't be able to keep making money and doing what he was doing. He would lose money with this pentacles in reverse. Um, it basically is saying no, it's office politics. It is being sloppy. So he was accusing her of sloppy office politics and possibly took it out on her, him getting busted, taking it out on her, and it's no teamwork. So he took her out of the team. He took her, literally removed her out of the team, did not want her as a team member anymore because this is the team member situation uh, with, this, with this card here. It's all about teamwork, teamwork expansion. So he removed one of the team players by being very aggressive, moody, and conflict, total conflict and aggression. He used passive aggression, passive aggression. So she didn't see it coming. Those, those covert, it's a covert narcissist uh, trait to have passive aggressiveness. So she didn't see it coming because he probably used his charm to, to get her attention, more than likely. So I'm going to find out more about this here, because this is really interesting. I'm going to put this downward so you can see the cards. There you go. Now let's get these here. Let's get some more on here. So what did he do to her? What did he do to her with his passive aggression? What did he do with his passive aggression? What did he do? He used the Hierophant, the Hierophant card was he decided he was going to he didn't want the sacred truth coming out this is a sacred truth so he was fearing this more than likely that's why he got angry he knew that the truth would come out and he felt it was her morals and duty to work for him regardless don't question me just do as i say kind of thing he was the authority here so he didn't like the fact that he felt that she was sloppy in her work I got busted because of you. So he's passive aggressively blaming her. Let's get another one here. Let's get some more energy. The Hierophant. Here we go. This one came out first. I'm going to take it. So we have here the Five of Pentacles in the upright position. With the Five of Pentacles is conflict. And it's in the upright. So he was, he was afraid of poverty and money loss. He did not want to draw attention to his weakness. That's what this says. Do not draw attention to my weakness. You drew attention to the weakness on the books because of your sloppy work. So this is him totally scapegoating and blaming her for, for his bad deeds. And then we have here the three of wands in reverse. He, f he felt that with the three of wands in reverse, there would be delays. Uh, he wouldn't be able to take on whatever challenge that was coming his way. He couldn't handle the challenge coming his way. And he had no foresight. He didn't want the delays in making money and to do whatever scheme he was planning. And he wanted to keep making that money. He was afraid of poverty and loss. And then we have here the Four of Swords in the rever reverse position. Four of Swords in the reverse position. It, he had a lot of anxiety and ego. Uh, it's also the Four of Swords is not wanting to be seen. Ruined reputation. He was afraid of ruining his reputation. He, this position is ruined reputation and hiding out. He did not want his reputation ruined by her, quote, sloppy book work or being allowed to get busted because she, she basically figured him out. This is sticking out. I'm going to take it. And that is he did a Ten of Cups in order to make himself happy, happy ever after, Ten of Cups. So he basically made things work for himself, basically, in the end result. 
he wanted this, this Ten of Cups. Nobody's going to affect my lifestyle. Uh, not you, not anybody. So basically that's how I feel. So he, he did what he felt was necessary in his mind. And we have here the Page of Cups in reverse in the center of the situation. Uh, page of Cups in, in, this, in the um, center of the situation. He, didn't, he felt um, that she was oversensitive, didn't like her oversensitivity. Uh, unhappy news. She brought him unhappy news probably with the books. Uh, it was unhappy news with the situation and this is not the, this here upright is idolistic energy. This is probably her doing everything that he, you know, she's being told to do. She probably butted up against him, I'm going to say. She kind of butted up against him a bit and there was a lot of unhappy news. So this is something that the project was going to be Com, you know, compromise because upright is the comp, the project, a new project, a relationship. That relationship's in real in reverse, and also it's the bad news position because this is good news. She brought him bad news. She brought him bad news about the books. They talked about the books, uh, what would happen here, and I also have ironically <clears throat> it opened up here in the center of my my deck here. I have two centers here. I've got this one there, and I do like to read these occasionally too. So both in the center of the situation, the heart of the situation, is we have here the high priestess in reverse. The high priestess is someone who keeps the secrets, hidden knowledge. But he knew she was not going to keep it hidden. She wasn't going to keep it hidden. And then we also have here the ace of swords in the reverse position, willing to be abusive. It's also cutting out. It also could be about losing your life, cutting a person out. He cut her out, literally. Uh, this is also about lies. The, this is a lying position. There were lies, uh, willing to be cruel. There's a lot of mental blocks with this position. So he had a mental block with his rage and with his passive aggressiveness, his anger, um, you know, he, being being very aggressive and very, having that conflict between his head and his heart. He was very conflicted on how to handle her. I think he did something very wrong with her uh, because he was, it was just to protect himself. It's looking very, so, like someone who really was out to protect himself. Allegedly's, allegedly's, allegedly's. I think this guy's going to end up getting arrested. Don't mind my puppies. <laughs> so let's find out some more. What's going to happen? What's going to happen with Jason Sugarman? What's going to happen with Jason Sugarman? Will he be arrested? What is going to be the energy around Jason Sugarman? Jason Sugarman. Jason Sugarman. Jason Sugarman. Please be clear. Jason Sugarman. What do we have here? We have here the two of pentacles in the reverse position. The partnerships is going to fall apart. Everything's going to fall apart. This is what he was afraid of. This is why she's, she's disappeared. Um, you know, there's no commitment here. The commitment's broken. So he had no commitment to her. It's a, it's a breakup. So he basically broke up with her. Um, and he will lose his money. The, the, the business end, his life, the way he knows things, his, his money, his status, his physical world is going to crash and burn. It will crash and burn. So I, I see him getting arrested. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, what do I have here? Nine of Wands in the upright position. So the Nine of Wands in the upright position is taking a desperate last stand make it, and a lot of fast changes. So I think it's going to happen probably pretty quickly that they're going to probably get him. Uh, being as wealthy as he, he is, he probably won't, he may not have to stay locked up because we have here the King of Pentacles in the center of the deck. He is the King of Pentacles. He's got the money. He's got it all in the bank. So this is going to help him most likely. Um, but we also have the fool's card here. So it's going to be a new path, a new journey uh, going down the law path with this. This is going to be a fight for him. And then we have the justice card here in reverse. He does not want justice. He does not want the truth to come out. This is dishonesty and unfairness here. And then we have the three of swords in the upright position. So with the Three of Swords in the upright position is the Scourge card. This is heartache, sorrow, and divide. Uh, this is not an apologizing, apologies and healing position. This is in a position of complete sorrow and vengeance. He took vengeance on her. He took vengeance on her, 
uh, with the Page of Cups. He did like her. He did like her. He had a problem doing it. Whatever it is he did, and he is now going to have his wheels come off. Uh, it, it, his, um, he's not going to be able to beat the battle. It's the battle of the wheels, and he's going to lose. So he's going to crash and burn, in essence. And we have the death card because he probably killed her. He took her out. And major transformation has taken place, not only in his life, but hers as well. And now we have here with the eight of wands upright, excuse me, reverse. Uh, he's never going to overcome this action that he did. Um, and this, this isolation period that he's in, he's probably in hiding right now, is going to come to an end because they're going to come get him, basically. So I see that, yeah. And so he's just after his own abundance. Uh, you know, he's going to be tempted with a three of wands here uh, to, to delay things. He's, he's going to have to be ready for this next challenge. It's going to be a challenge because he's going to be trying to defend himself, in essence. And he's going to lose a lot of money. He's going to lose money. It's not going to be fun. It's going to be harsh. And there's that partnership in reverse. He took her out. He took her out. He got rid of her. He had to get rid of her to protect himself. And so that's really where this is all going. Yeah. So I say it is her boss who had her taken out. Uh, I guess I now need to ask the pendulum. Did he have it hired? Was there hired help taking her out? Did he have it done? Did Jason Sugarman have professionals take her out? Did Jason Sugarman take her out with professionals? Were professionals involved? Were professionals involved? Were professionals involved taking her out? No. Did he do this on his own? Did he do this on his own? Was this his own doing? Did he have a confrontation, aggressive confrontation? Yes, yes. So this was his own doing. Now I'm going to ask, is she alive? Is Heidi Plank, 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 yeah, Heidi Plank. Is Heidi Plank alive? Heidi Plank alive. Is Heidi Plank alive? Is Heidi Plank alive? Is she alive? No. No. No, she is not alive. Uh, will they find her? Will they find her? Will they find her? Maybe. Wow. So they put her in a good place. Um, hmm. Yeah, digging around, finding her is going to take me a lot of work privately. I can do that and extend this on another video to see quite possibly where she is. But her dog was left in a high rise. Um, more than likely, I would say the murder went down in the high rise. I think I'm going to have to ask that. Was she murdered in that high rise in LA? Was she murdered in the high rise in LA? Was she murdered in the high rise in LA? Was that where she was taken out? Was she murdered in the high rise? Yes. Yes. Did she subconsciously feel that something really bad was going to happen to her because she had a lot of anxiety? Did she feel something was bad was going to happen to her? Was she feeling fear? Yes. Yes. I'm going to now ask, were they romantically involved? Was she romantically involved with her boss? Was she romantically involved with her boss? Maybe. Maybe. So maybe they flirted. Maybe they had some kind of something, something at one point in time, but weren't currently. But, yeah, she was very nervous about him. Let's get some more cards here. And Heidi Plank, Heidi Plank, Plank, Heidi Plank, and that popped. Despair. So she was feeling a lot of despair about her job in general. Heidi Plank, Heidi Plank. Courthouse. Yeah, there was going to be, yeah, they were very despaired over the, the charges against her boss. She probably didn't want to go to prison either. Oh, gosh. And then we have here the judge. Yep, they're going to face the law. Well, imprisonment. Yep, facing law, imprisonment, courthouse. Ooh, this is all legal here, you guys. And then we have here pathway. Going to the light, you know, finding a, a better place, escapism, and going on a journey. Hmm. 
And then we have here child. She did not pick up her child. She did not pick up her child. And then I have here at the bottom of the deck, mature woman in reverse. It's like he took her out. He had thoughts of doing it too. This is at the bottom of the deck. Just take her out. And then we have the coffin here at the bottom, towards the bottom of the deck too. So yeah. And she did not get the message of concern that he was going to do this. So he did this very passive aggressively uh, with his anger and his resentment towards her for uh, the way the books were done. She didn't jack them up or do what he wanted, uh, what he requested quite possibly. And he's, he put the blame on her and she did not see it coming. She did not see it coming because he is sort of that covert narcissist and she didn't pick up her kid. And I think he did have thoughts of taking her out because of this whole lawsuit situation. This is total self-preservation of the psychopath, to be quite frank. Uh, lots of despair over the courthouse. He didn't, you know, he didn't want to go away to prison. He didn't want to have to take a new path in life. Uh, he didn't want the imp imprisonment here. So this is like total jail, prison, courthouse, lawsuit. I'm in big, huge trouble. And he had to take out the witness, the person that, that um, could speak out against him. So in essence, that's what I see here. Um, I guess we're going to wait and see. I think that this will happen pretty quickly. I'm, I'm feeling that this is going to go down real quick here, uh, given the fact that he's in such legal trouble as it is. But being as wealthy as he is, um, he's not going to have a problem probably fighting this and doing everything he can to protect his own skin. I hope you enjoyed this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye.